Hey y'all, today we will be reading one, two, three, The Farm and Me, following food from the farm to your family. One, one farmer grows enough wheat to feed many people. One farmer. Wheat is the second most important source of food on the planet. Rice is number one. Two. Two bushels hold two million wheat kernels. One, two. Bushels are baskets that measure crops from the farm, like grains. The farmer harvests the wheat and separates the kernels, the grain we eat, from the chaff, which we don't eat. The kernels go to a mill where they are ground into flour. The flour is bagged and sent from the mill to your supermarket. So we have wheat, where they pick up the wheat, they then collect kernels from the wheat, and then they ground the wheat into flour. From there, the flour is sent to the store. Three. Three types of flour are found at the grocery store. One, two, three. The red row is bread flour. The green row is cake flour. And the blue row is all-purpose flour. What flower, what color flower is the little boy grabbing? Blue. He's grabbing the blue flower. They're going to use all purpose flour. Bread flour is high in protein and is best for making chewy loaves. Cake flour is low in protein and is best for tender cupcakes. Medium protein flour is called all-purpose flour and works in everything from fried chicken to pizza dough. Four. Four brothers and sisters get up early to milk the cows. Let's count the brothers and sisters. One, two, three, four. Four brothers and sisters. Let's count the cows. One, two, three, four. Four cows and four brothers and sisters milking the cows. Cows eat hay corn, and grain. In order to produce milk, each cow eats a hundred pounds of food a day. That's a lot. Cow's milk can be poured into cereal or used to make yogurt, butter, ice cream, or cheese. Five. Five quarts of milk make one pound of cheese. Let's count the milk. One, two, three, four, five. Five quarts of milk. To turn milk into mozzarella, the cheese maker adds citric acid and rennet and then heats the mixture to separate the liquid whey from the solid curds. The cheese maker stretches and pulls the curds until they form elastic balls of cheese. 
So the first thing that the cheese maker does is they add citric acid to the cheese. And then they heat it up. I'm sorry, they add citric acid to the milk. And then they heat it up. After it's been heated up, they stretch it to make balls of cheese. Six. Six trucks carry the mozzarella cheese to the market. Let's count the trucks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six trucks from the creamery all the way to the market. All kinds of markets, big and small, sell mozzarella. It is one of the most popular cheeses in the world. Seven. Seven rows of tomatoes grow on a rooftop garden. Let's count the rows together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The fruits, yes, tomatoes are a fruit, are ripe and ready to pick when they begin to feel a little soft when squeezed. Most tomatoes turn red when ripe. Some tomatoes turn orange, white, or even purple. Wow, so tomatoes are not only red, but they can be orange, white, or purple. Eight. Eight tomatoes are washed before making the sauce. Let's count the tomatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tomatoes are washed. In the kitchen, the tomatoes are cored, peeled, chopped, and simmered with olive oil, garlic, and salt until very soft. The tomatoes are then pureed to make a smooth sauce. Nine. Nine basil leaves are picked from the plant in the window. Here's the basil plant, and here are the leaves. Let's count the leaves together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine basil leaves. Flour, water, and yeast are combined to make dough. The dough is rolled into a circle. Tomato sauce is, la is ladled on top. Mozzarella cheese goes on next. So they combine the ingredients to make the dough. They use flour, water, and yeast. And then they rolled it out and put sauce on top, the tomato sauce that they made earlier. And then they put the mozzarella cheese on top of the tomato sauce. The pizza slides into the oven to bake. The basil leaves are placed on top of the freshly baked pizza pie. The kitchen fills with a sweet smell 
of this tasty herb. Ten. Ten slices of pizza for our family and friends. Let's count the slices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One big pizza pie is cut into slices. The flour, cheese, tomatoes, and basil come from different farms, but all were grown with love and care. In the kitchen, the cooks work together to turn these fresh ingredients into a special meal. Call everyone to the table. It's time to share this good food. Ten. Ten slices of pizza. Someone ate one, which leaves nine slices of pizza. A second slice was eaten and left left. Eight slices of pizza. One, two, three. Three slices of pizza have been eaten, and that leaves seven slices of pizza. One, two, three, four. Four slices of pizza have been eaten, and that leaves six slices of pizza. Five. Five slices of pizza have been eaten, and that leaves five more slices of pizza left. Six slices of pizza have been eaten here, and that leaves four. Now there are three slices left, two slices left, and one slice left. Y'all see the slices? One. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Everyone is full and dinner is done. Yum. I hope you guys enjoyed One, Two, Three, The Farm and Me.